Uh, ICMP, Internet Control Message Protocol, uh, specified uh, in the RFC uh, 792, is used uh, to report uh, errors. Uh, and uh, we typically use uh, this protocol, for instance, uh, when we use uh, the ping program or the trace route uh, program. Uh, but uh, basically, is a protocol that uh, permit to uh, to receive uh, some error messages or control messages. For instance, this destination unreachable. That uh, means uh, that the packet uh, couldn't be delivered to the destination. Uh, time exceeded, for instance, uh, uh, that means that, uh, for instance, the time to leave uh, expired uh, during the transmission of the datagram across the network, or um, uh, the echo and echo, re echo request and echo reply that are typically used to diagnose uh, the, the network uh, uh, with uh, for, uh, commands like, uh, for instance, uh, the ping command or the trace route command. Um, and uh, well, uh, other uh, messages. Uh, then, in fact, uh, uh, ICMP is an integral part of uh, IP. Um, it's a complement of the Internet Protocol. Um, the the ICMP uh, messages are not generated from other ICMP messages. That is, uh, if uh, an error or cure uh, transmitting uh, an ICMP message, um, uh, except uh, in the case of an echo request, uh, uh, another ICMP message is not uh, generated. Uh, ICMP only reports errors to the sending host of the diagram, of the datagram, not uh, to uh, anybody. Uh, the ICMP message is encapsulated, in fact, in an IP datagram uh, using the protocol number uh, one. Uh, this is typically the, the encapsulation of uh, the ICMP uh, message. The ICMP message uh, uh, or PDU has a header and uh, the data and uh, and the ICMP message is encapsulated into the datagram, IP datagram, uh, and uh, typically the IP datagram uh, encapsulated into the Ethernet um, uh, frame. Uh, the, in the header uh, of the ICMP message, um, typically uh, we have uh, always in all the different um, ICMP uh, message types, three, three fields in common, typically the type, the code, and the checksum. Uh, then uh, um, is, um, this is typically the format, mm -hmm. type, code, checksum, additional data. Um, the type field specifies uh, the type uh, of the ICMP uh, reported error, or uh, and the code field interprets the message type more accurately, uh, and the the additional data typically contains part of the original IP message uh, that generate uh, the, this uh, error uh, message. Uh, in the, the type field, we uh, we could uh, uh, code those numbers. For instance, uh, uh, eight is for echo request, zero for echo response, um, three for destination unreachable, eleven for time exceeded, and uh, uh, for the same uh, type uh, number, we uh, we uh, could uh, have a different uh, code number. For instance, uh, for the destination type, uh, destination unreachable type, we uh, could have uh, the zero for uh, the zero code for network unreachable, 
for the one for host and reachable uh, and others. Uh, and in the case, for instance, of um, timeout exceeded, we uh, we could have the code zero to uh, time to leave uh, expired and one uh, corresponding to timeout uh, uh, reassembly timeout uh, exceeded. Then, for instance, uh, uh, we uh, we could understand uh, uh, how uh, a typical uh, a typically used uh, command called the ping um, uh, works. The ping command send an ICMP echo request to the to a destination and expects the, to receive an ICMP echo reply as a response before uh, uh, the timeout, uh, typical timeout expires. The ping command then lets you uh, know the status of the network and the reachability of uh, destination host. And it is very useful for the diagnosing uh, IP connectivity problems. Uh, in this, um, uh, for instance, in, in this uh, figure, we, uh, uh, we could see um, for instance, uh, the, uh, how uh, from uh, host A, we could uh, execute the, com the ping command uh, to, uh, to test uh, the reachability of the host B. Then, in fact, the uh, host A will send an ICMP echo request encapsulated into a datagram IP destinated to the IP address of uh, the host B. The, the IP network uh, 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 transport uh, the, the datagram to the destination, to the final destination, that is the host B. The host B receive uh, the, uh, the ICMP echo request, then uh, reply uh, with uh, an ICMP echo reply. And in that way, uh, in, from the host A, we we could test if the um, the host B is uh, is up and running, and the path uh, across the IP network is uh, running uh, correctly. Uh, there are other um, ICMP uh, uh, messages that uh, could be. Uh, very useful. Uh, for instance, the destination and reachable messages. If an ICMP destination and reachable message is received, it means that the IP datagram sent uh, was discarded along the way by the IP entity uh, that is host or router that appears in the IP source address of the ICMP message. If uh, uh, the code indicates network unreachable, it means that it was discarded uh, for not matching any route. Uh, instead of that, if uh, the code indicates host unreachable, it means that it was discarded for not responding to the uh, ARP request. Uh, then, uh, for instance, here is an example. Uh, if uh, Host A send a, a datagram to any destination in the network, in the IP network, but uh, the datagram uh, will travel across different routers, but suddenly at one of those routers, uh, the destination address uh, doesn't match any route. That, uh, in that case, the router will drop the datagram designated uh, sent by the host A to some destination and uh, respond to the host A uh, with an ICMP network destination and unreachable message. And in that way, uh, for instance, the host A will know that uh, at uh, this uh, uh, IP address, 
um, there was a problem because uh, the, uh, uh, the, the that router uh, it doesn't uh, know the uh, the appropriate route to reach uh, the destination. In the case, for instance, uh, of a host destination ritual, uh, for instance, the host A send a uh, datagram, for instance, to the host B, but uh, perhaps, uh, for, for instance, the host B is uh, switched off, um, uh, and uh, then, for instance, uh, when the datagram uh, destined to the uh, uh, host B address arrives to this uh, router, this router need to uh, perform an ARP request uh, in order to know the MAC address of the host uh, B. But if the host B is uh, switched off or disconnected from the, the, the network, uh, the host B couldn't, uh, uh, will not be, uh, be able to, uh, to respond to the ARP request. After a while, this router will drop the datagram uh, destined to the host B and then send uh, an ACP uh, message called host destination unreachable. That is a type destination unreachable code host unreachable. And, and this message will be uh, uh, destined to the host A. Uh, that is the uh, source address of the datagram that was uh, dropped. Uh, finally, for instance, uh, we could uh, try to understand the use of uh, those messages, the time exceeded <coughs> ICMP messages, and then the type 11 time exceeded uh, uh, is uh, used uh, to report uh, that uh, some events occur. For instance, if the code is zero, that means that a router um, uh, decrement the time to leave uh, uh, of the datagram, the original datagram, and uh, then uh, if the time to leave uh, uh, expired, that is uh, reached uh, zero, the router, uh, the intermediate router, um, uh, has to uh, drop, drop the datagram and then uh, the, the router will send to the uh, sender of the original datagram a message uh, time exceeded uh, with the code time to leave expired. In other uh, scenario, for instance, if, um, if a datagram um, um, destined to a final destination Need, uh, uh, need to be uh, fragmented and one of the fragments uh, will be lost uh, across the network, for instance, uh, uh, because uh, there was uh, an error. Um, the, the destination host will uh, not be able to reassemble uh, the, the the original datagram because uh, of the lack of one of those uh, fragments, then the the fragmentation reassembly timeout expire, and in that case, all the fragments uh, uh, already received by the destination host will uh, will be dropped, and the destination host will send to the uh, the source host of the original datagram. Uh, um, an ICMP message uh, uh, type uh, time exceeded code fragment reassembly time exceeded. Uh, and uh, uh, another uh, typical use of uh, those kind of uh, ICMP messages is the, uh, the, uh, in the case of the uh, trace route or trace RT command, trace route in Unix Linux. Uh, Platforms and trace RT in the uh, Windows platforms. The the, the command trace route command uh, send uh, several ICMP echo requests uh, uh, with uh, different time to leave. For instance, uh, uh, time to leave one, time to leave two, time to leave three, uh, and expects to receive uh, ICMP time exceeded response or ICMP echo reply. 
um, if um, if the trace route receive ICMP time exceeded, uh, it will uh, it will learn that uh, there is uh, uh, an intermediate uh, router that um, decrement the time to leave and the time to leave uh, reach uh, zero. Then the, that router uh, has to uh, had had to uh, drop the 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 datagram and uh, send the uh, time exceeded um, the time exceeded the message uh, with the code uh, time to leave uh, expired. Uh, in that way, for instance, the command trace route uh, will learn the IP address of the different intermediate routers the path uh, uh, to reach uh, the destination. Um, finally, when the trace route received the uh, ICMP echo reply, uh, uh, that means that, uh, in fact, the, the response comes from the uh, final destination. The trace route uh, command allows you to know the status of the network, the reachability, and the path to a destination host, and it is uh, very useful for diagnosing IP connectivity problems. 